Joe, we're in exactly the same spot as we were yesterday. By uh, the Hollybush pub. But we're facing the other way, which is good, because it means the sun is not backlighting us. It's in front of us. Yes. But only until about one o'clock. So we have a... Because it's going to rain. Yeah, somewhat short window before there's a forecast for heavy showers, thunder showers, and thunderstorms. I would be tempted to stay here today, but it's a 24-hour mooring. And we were on it last night, even though we did do a nine-hour cruise between. So I don't know if that counts. <laughs> yeah. So, so just around the corner and under the aqueduct is three locks and then we're at the junction with the leak branch for the fourth time in the last week <laughs> and then it's back down the cauldron towards the Trenton Mersey. So yeah. We don't know how far we're going to make it today. Probably just past the swing bridges uh, after the second set of locks. Where Before that's, engine lock. Yeah, there's like... So there's, there's three no, locks now. And then a four. Then there's a waste point where you have to stop at. Then there's five. Five locks. Uh, and then there's the two swing bridges. And then there's engine lock. So we'll probably stop above engine lock. Yeah. And then it's just a short cruise to Utura. Yes. Utura. And George is currently pooping right over there. Have you got his lead? So, yes, I do have his lead. All right, let's go. Here's his lead. Here's his poop bag. I shall go take care of this. It really isn't far to the first three locks. We find the bottom lock set in our favor, so Joe quickly opens the gate so I can cruise in. There are no other boats about, so I walk ahead to set the middle lock, then come back for the boat. Joe's gone ahead to empty the top lock for us, so when I leave this lock, I jump off and shut the gate behind me to save her coming back. This plate vents the water draining into the lock. Most of the time they're not so noisy, Sometimes they whistle, and sometimes they shoot water at you. Two and a half mile stretch of canal between Hazelhurst and Stockton Brook Top Lock, along with the Leak Branch, form the highest point on the Calden Canal at 484 feet above sea level. Our front camera seems to have steamed up a bit, and it certainly isn't doing the views justice. We 
pull over at the Park Lane Services to top up our water tank. There are three water points here, and the rest of the facilities are pretty good too. There's even a shower, which Joe decides to make use of while the water tank is filling. Tank full and hair washed, it's time to go again. There are lots of visitor moorings just next to the service point. It would be a convenient place to moor. At this point, an overhanging tree branch decides to spin the camera around, so now we have views to the left. This is Endon Bridge Basin, where there are some permanent warnings. If you remember, in a previous blog, we were wondering what this little island was. Well, we found out. It supported a turntable bridge for a miniature railway that serviced an industrial site nearby. There's a boat coming out of the top lock just as we arrive, which is really convenient for them and the boat in front. There's another boat waiting to come up, so that is helpful for us. We go down, and there's yet another boat waiting. When we arrive at the roadlock, there's a boat coming up, so we help them through. These locks are really busy today. Next is railway lock. No boat in this one, so we walk ahead to see if there's one coming before we reset it for ourselves. While we're going down, another boat turns up behind us. Next is Fen's Lock. I arrive before Joe, so I secure the boat, check to see if there's another boat coming, then fill it for us. The boat behind us is caught up again, and the crew member is frustrated that we're not moving as fast as they'd like. It's a pretty unpleasant interaction for Joe. We've blurred them and their boat out in the video, as we don't want to embarrass the guilty. Thankfully, there's just one more lock to go.
Long Butts Lift Bridge is the first of the two lift bridges. This one's operated by hand using a windlass. Norton Green Lift Bridge is automatic and operated with a key. It was the one that had broken down when we came east, but thankfully it's in full working order today. Creatures of habit, we decide to stop in the same mooring we had coming the other way. That means we will have just a short cruise back to Etruria tomorrow. So just a short cruise today. I put these on because it's bright. Sorry if it's annoying. Yeah, it is. It's been a hot day and a humid day because it's definitely like the July... It's August. August, sorry. It's like the August um, sort of thunder shower yeah. thing is. You can feel it building up. We got to the service point and um, there was a shower there and we had to fill like maybe a quarter of the tank of water. So I thought I'll just nip in the shower while um, yeah. the water was filling. You got to nip in the shower while I did weed and garbage and recycling and i fed some ducks and i gave george some biscuits and i watered george and, and we, i watered um, the boat we gave up on my tomato plants so you threw my tomato plants away that's true they were never gonna fruit it no. was really sad yeah. and they just got annoying so that was sad we were trying to use the underside of bridges to pollinate and it doesn't really work i mean you know yeah oh my goodness everyone is in such a rush today we were on the water point and we just finished and we were like undoing the tap and then the boat behind us realized and they raced to get off before us yeah like, they, like they threw their um their hose pipe on like they didn't bother doing it up and stuff yeah. and i guess they did it because there was five locks coming up so we we're behind them in the locks and then another boat came up behind us and they were in a rush so we were like feeling a bit of pressure as we were going through the locks yeah today. which is never good because what happens is you end up it was like, not safe. Yeah, because you end up rushing things that you shouldn't be rushing. I mean, it was annoying because there were a couple of things that slowed us down. Like, there were some boats coming up. But I always like boats coming up because then they do half the work for you and you get yeah. to chat and it's just nice. No, it's true, but it does slow everybody down, right? I mean, like, because that boat that was behind us was right behind us, yeah. you know, trying to be there right behind us every time because they never faced an uphill boat no. except for right at the top of the lock. But yeah, I guess it's a Sunday and it's August. Expect to be held up and expect to be hot. Like, it's just the way it is. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to get somewhere and, you, and you've got, like, a sense of urgency, it, it is kind of annoying sometimes to get some stuck beside, yeah, behind but, somebody who's going slow and all. We were not going slow. But that's no reason to rush them no. and to, like, have a go at them for no. being slow. Like, you just have to be... And especially in Like, that... I'm on, on the narrowboat, so um, it's annoying, but just help them or yeah. whatever. But especially in that kind of, like, I'll just walk up and open this... March up. And you know, I'll just march up and open this this um, for you so that, that you can get down faster because you're not opening it fast enough for my taste. If there was a boat behind us and they said to us, oh, look, we're really in a rush, we've got a long way to go today, do you mind if we go ahead of you? I'd probably be like, yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that wouldn't be a problem. It's It's... It's when you get into a situation, this is the issue. This is like if you're in a hurry and you come up and you say, you know, we're trying to get all the way to, I don't like, know. Yeah, sure, yeah, right yeah, yeah, or <laughs> we're trying to get to, to Middlewich and we've got to do the um, the Heartbreak Hill today. Yeah. And, and we're we're over on Calden, so we're going a little bit slow. Yeah. Do you mind getting out of the way? Yeah, sure. We'll pull over. We'll, we'll help you the through the lock, yeah. Yeah, but, but in a moment like this where it's like, yeah, no, but we're going to go slower now. No, we're not. We're not, we're not really, but... No, we were just doing our normal day. I know, but you start feeling the pressure, and then you start feeling the pressure to sabotage, or at least I do. But the thing is, like, she was moaning because she was so hot, and, she, like, one of the things she said to me is, like, I just don't see the point in standing around it when it's so hot. And I'm like, I don't see the point in rushing around when it's so hot. I didn't say that. <laughs> So uh, we need to be productive this afternoon and do some work because I've got 11 and a half vlogs to edit and the vlog for, that was due to go up at 8am this morning isn't edited, so it's not Right. Up. So I shall... What are you going to do? What the hell was that? Talk about wow. the murmuration. Wow. Murmuration. That's a lot of noise for a bunch of tiny sparrows. It sounded like a small aircraft come over. George, have you pooed or is that a cow? No, that's not the sheep. Um... When we pulled up, they were really noisy. Oh, yeah, they were just blurt, 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 blurt. Um, that's going in the poopers. 
I wish I'd what saved. Were you asking me? I wish I'd saved every like time when Michael did a sound effect and just like did one long just edit. Made one long video of Michael. If anyone's got any time to do that, I'd really love you to do that. It's, it's just a super cut of Michael doing sound effects. Oh, one day. Somebody was asking me for more shotgun sounds. I'm like, nah. They have to come organically. Yeah, yeah. No, there's got to be a reason. I can't. I can't just <laughs> yank out the shotgun sound for everyday moments. Ah, yeah. uh, right. So. Um, yeah, so what am I going to do? I'm going to work. Um, I'm gonna, for, first, I'm going to make some lunch. Then I'm going to try and relax a little bit. Then I'm going to work. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. Sounds good. So do you have any idea what those things are over there? Tires. No, not. <laughs> the green seed pod things. Oh, no. Mm. They look like water lilies. Yeah, they're just quite big. <laughs> All right, should we get George inside? No, we need to finish this. Oh, we got to finish this thing. Right. So, that's us, uh, just below the second swing bridge, just above engine lock, which is down around the corner. And uh, we're going to be here for, well, the evening. Tomorrow we'll probably move on yeah. to Etruria. In the rain. In the rain. And we'll regret not going further today in the not rain. Yeah, possibly. We'll see. But in the meantime, tune in next time. And uh, in order to do that, give us a thumbs up if you like to. Comment down below. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And, subscribe uh, if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications in any order because apparently we're going off script today it has no end it doesn't have to be done in any particular order anyway the bitch boat's coming you want to do to things go. in the weird direction comment after subscribing go for it <laughs>Two and a half mile stretch of canal between Hazelhurst and Stockton Brook Toplock, along with the Leak Branch, is the highest point on the Calden Canal at 308. Whoops. Next is Fens Lock. I arrive before Joe, so I secure the boat. Check to see if there's another boat.